Hey guys, welcome to part, I don't know. In today's video, we're gonna install the repair sleeve and the throwout bearing on the transmission snout, you know. And then we're gonna slap it all back together and then we're gonna compare different exhaust sounds from episode one, uh, seven I think, and then this one, the final. After redoing it again, spoiler alert, still too quiet. Yeah, kinda. But you're gonna hear what it sounds like stock STI and then uh, stock STI XL or stock STI catback and then uh, STI without the resonator. All right, make sure you are subscribed. Like the video if you did, dislike the video if you didn't, and enjoy. And leave some comments. Oops. Nice. Man, at least we know it. It's no good. What's no good? Your socket? At, at least that was a socket that I, I never I, I only used it for the press and I have uh, two of the same ones. Actually, I do have another 32. So I actually have a total of three 32s. So, Can I use the other one? No, you can't. You're done. You're, you're going home. Let's take a closer look. So there's a 27. Short 27 inside the deep 32. And this is not a year. And you just did one, right? All this time. The other one is done. Right, that's what I'm saying. You just did one. Yeah. That's 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 awesome. Alright guys, now we're gonna take care of that repair sleeve. We have instructions? So what's this cutout for? This Go, goes on top. Oh the cutout goes on top? Like this. Because when the spring... Oh, the fork, okay. Yeah, fork, this thing. If you don't, if you don't do cutout, you have to bend this one. Otherwise, it will be like clicking sound. Click, 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 because it will be catching the, the edge. Okay, so... So the fork, the fork... So it needs to go in between the ball. Okay, so not, not, not very top, like one o'clock. Like this? Yeah, one o'clock. Okay. So about one o'clock, like this. Okay, a little bit of clutch material inside the fork. Okay, so the repair sleeve. There's a small size Allen, little Allen nuts or whatever studs, screws. Try and uh, tighten them up evenly on both sides. Yeah, you know, there's two of them. I don't know how tight am I supposed to go, but these are very little, so I guess not too tight. Okay, now this one. Did you put a lock there? No. Was I supposed to? I don't know, maybe it's a good idea. Now when I'm almost done with it? Do you know the torque here? No. Should we put the lock on, on the on the stand? I don't know. All right, I'm gonna have to do Loctite on this because uh, because you know why. Lucas is gonna have nightmares. You want blue or red? Blue. Ow! Again? Okay, we're gonna do blue Loctite as uh, to fulfill Lucas's wishes. I think that's plenty tight. I'm gonna do, they did provide spline grease. Avoid contact with disc friction material. And they also provided these Subaru fork retaining clips. Okay. Both in. Wow, look, I just finished the bushings. Two hours later. If I were you, I would put the grease over there. Where? Probably somewhere here. Or somewhere here. Okay. Fine. So we're gonna try and uh, think and install the clips on the bench. Yeah. 
here we go. Now I'm going to apply grease on the sleeve. It didn't give much. Wow. And, and inside the actual bearing. Should be good. Is this going to fit? Don't tell me it's not going to fit now. Oh man, I saw it. <laughs> I'm putting it the wrong way. Never mind. Now he's got to pop it in. All right. So this is what happens when you push the clutch, guys. This is, I don't know, this sleeve, we were talking about it before. It's still, I mean, it still moves. You can see this, right? Look at the slack. It's a little bit less slack than the old bearing on the actual uh, shaft. But there's still slack. You know, there's two new parts, the sleeve and the brand new throat bearing. I don't know if that's normal or not. But uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, this thing is ready to go in, officially. I just don't like this slack. Yeah, it did pop in on both sides, okay. Yeah, we're good. All right, guys, I got an update for you. Didn't uh, record any of this because it's nothing that was out of the ordinary, except one thing I'm gonna show you. You can see the rear suspension, rear diff is, well, it is done. What's left over here in the back? Nothing. Nothing. So this is done. Yeah. I mean, alignment. Yeah. Well, alignment. Yeah. So uh, new bolt on this side. NICs on those bolts where they go inside the bushings. Um, so yeah, just gotta fill the diff with oil, and that's it for the rear. And then I got the top is done. Remember, right now it's only holding on five bolts. Before it was nine, right? Or eight. Eight. Eight, so minus three bolts. Remember we drilled out that one, uh, the lower uh, hole through the transmission for the starter, because on the, on the 06 was a, was a stud, on the 98 it's a bolt. So we drilled that out, so a bolt can make it through on the, on, on the other side. No, on the 98 was a bolt. 98 was a bolt. Oh yeah, 06 was a stud, 98 was a bolt. Anyways, this, Whatever, it doesn't matter, it's different now. This side here is done. Still gotta do, install the rest of the headers. And almost everything underneath here. Uh, you know, uh, transmission mount, a brace, uh, cross member thing, uh, drive shaft, exhaust. Here's that new CV Excel drove the pin in. I installed it and I had to drive the pin in from the bottom. Uh, yeah, let me show you that one bracket. That's, uh, you know, issues start when you start modding stuff. See this? This here. So on the 06 transmission, the transmission was beefier and so it was thicker over here. So this actually bolted down to the transmission. So right now it's only holding on one bolt and this bracket here holds the airbox. I'm going to show you from the top. Uh, this, yeah, so it sits on that bracket on two bolts. Stuff your wheels underneath the car, man. Extra insurance right here. Still got to do the shifter here. This is what I'm talking about, this bracket here. So right now on the bottom it's only on one bolt, which is fine with me. Probably not fine with Lucas. And it's 20 after 10. We're going to continue tomorrow, p.m. Guys, next day, let's see what you got going on here. Look, here is uh, tightening up the plug. Everything is done over here. Cross member, shifter from an STI. No. No? It's what is from Legacy. Oh, the shifter is from Legacy? Short shifter. Oh, okay, well, it, it was a short shifter, but uh, yeah. All right, now we're gonna go uh, change tires, throw those uh, winter tires on the on the black rims, 
Oh, we'll show you the rims later. All right, let's go, man. We gotta go. We gotta go. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Inside is done. It feels better. Tiny bit better. Shorter uh, shifts. Everything fit. So a shifter from 98 fits to an 06. We decided to cut the exhaust, to cut out the silencer and the mid pipe. We're gonna get a pipe. Oh, we had a pipe actually. I think it was a two and a quarter, right? Two and a half, two and a quarter. We're gonna cut it just like this one. We uh, remember we extended this. So we're gonna cut it here and here and just weld the pipe, make it even louder. And I'm gonna do a comparison. Once this is done, I'm gonna do a comparison where it was uh, stuck. I don't know if we have it stuck. Maybe we do or not. Just an just, just uh, axle back. That was the first axle back when, yeah. you, were, when you were yelling that it. Yeah, the, smoke. because it's from your 07 STI. Uh, anyways, uh, so we did, because right now this is the third or second setup, which is uh, STI uh, axle, axle back. Cat back. I'm sorry, STI cat back. So it's going to be a stock STI cat back and then STI removed silencer. All right, catch you later. Guys, update. Got a pipe out. Look, is cleaning the rough edges. Subaru silencer thing. That's how it looks inside. So the pipe we cut, it's a little longer on both ends. But we need to flange it, it's not gonna fit. It's barely you know it's not an issue we have this tool a rental from AutoZone tailpipe expander now there are two different sizes for these tools small one and big one this is the bigger one this is nice I may actually keep this $35 what right $35 $37 whatever this was so these are not very good there are different ones on the market what is it 27 what 19 this I think it's 19, maybe 21. What you do is install this here. Now with these big, ones, huh? A big one, right? Bigger one? Yeah. Now with these, you want to go all the way in. There are ones where you can go however deep you want, because if you 19, mm -hmm. did I say 19? You said 21. Last time you said 19, it was 22. The guy makes mistakes. As I was saying, so if you go expanded uh, halfway, these are going to break. Like that. This one is from Harbor Freight. I highly doubt that it's any different than the OEM from AutoZone. But at least I have some spare uh, little you know, tabs. Already broke, where? Yep, right here. The thread inside this nut is done. We could clean it, but it's just gonna be worse. See, that's why this tool sucks, because you gotta put in the whole thing. The one I'm talking about, it's, it's shorter, and it just catches the edge of the pipe. So it's much easier for the tool to expand it. But as I was saying, <laughs> look at this nut. Look at this nut. Look how uh, much better this is on the Harbor Freight one. I mean, are they, uh, these guys are the same? Let me see one. Yeah, this is exactly the same. Harbor Freight, AutoZone. I mean, slightly different. I can see that the metal is more smooth on this one. 
I don't know, maybe this is stronger, I have no idea. So we're going to take the tool, the inside of the Harbor Freight. Now it's going to be fun putting it back together. Yeah, this is stuck inside. Where's my hammer? Okay, we're gonna try it. No, don't do it. No? No, you will crack it. Well, just on the edge. I wanna try it just a little bit. So we, we put a washer on this one. All the way in. It's gonna, this is what you, this is how you do it? Just put a little bit? Let me just try it a little bit. Just a little bit. Man, you go all the way in, come on. You see now, okay, yeah, it's gonna break. Just wanna, I, I needed to make sure, okay? All right, we had to turn to heat. This pipe went to the big vise. As you can see, it still was twisting in the vise. We heated up maybe half inch of the tip of the pipe. As you can see, this rubber, this is still hot, this whole thing. This rubber melted. But we do have spares. But mission accomplished, that's what's important. So why flange it, you ask? So. So these pipes mate like this. I'm gonna clean up these these two where it's gonna get welded and this just makes for a stronger stronger uh, connection. If we were to weld it like this on the outside then it wouldn't be as strong. Every time even when you see uh, guys at the exhaust muffler shops and all that uh, they always do this. Still wet but we don't care it's going in right now. Checking gears, good. All right, we're gonna start it. Battery dead? Wah, wah, wah. Dead or not? Whoa. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ah, look at, look at that face, yeah. yeah. Oh. Uh-oh. Sitting. Oh, it's it's not bad at all, man. All right, we're gonna suffocate here. So, open that. Wanna rev it a little? You're gonna squeeze in there? Just did you, did you just call yourself fat? Just a little bit. Oh, those uh, brake pads in the front got stuck. All right, the rear is turning much, much faster than the... All right, if that ratio is different, I'm gonna strangle you, man. Spins the same over here. Okay, this one is not spinning. What? It wants to. Give a guess a little. You know why this was not spinning? Because the handbrake uh, was adjusted. You told me to adjust the handbrake. Well, we had to. It's already blaming stuff on me. Is it spinning now? Yeah. Ah. All right. I don't know why it's not. Did it just go backwards? What are you doing now? Uh -huh. That wasn't me. Oh, we have the ABS. The ABS is pulled, that's why. I know, we, uh, yeah, we pulled the fields on the ABS. Spinning now? Yeah. Yeah, this one is spinning much, much faster. What did you say? 
we need to take it for a, for a run for a test drive. Okay. <laughs> and uh, break something. All right, I guess we're going to take it for a test drive. of the black rims he wants to paint them white I want them to stay black put it in the comments below a uh, white or black let us know you know what I want to do is uh, paint those lights uh, inside paint them black and black rims yeah put it in the comments below <laughs> if you want those lights painted black on the inside because this one is an 07 and uh, the style the inside colors are a bit brighter so 06, 07, but we can make them look the same. <laughs> 